hello. Before we start this room tour, I just wanted to point out that I had originally filmed this the day we arrived, but the footage that I have for the room tour is unusable. I found that out today as I was going to edit the video, so I'm going to re-record it for you now. Just so you know, we've been here for about three days, so it's not going to look like a brand new room. I've done everything I can to make it look as good as new. We had a trash and towel service today, which really helped. So without further ado, here's the one bedroom at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. This is a one bedroom villa at Disney's Vero Beach Resort here in Vero Beach, Florida. We will be staying in room 1428, which is in vacation home building number 14 on floor number two. I can use my magic band here to enter the room. So let's head on in and take a look. So as we enter the one bedroom villa here at Disney's Vero Beach Resort, we are entered by this long foyer area. I'm going to start off to the right here. This is going to be the entrance to the bathroom space. This first room here is going to be the toilet and shower room. To the right, we have a pedestal sink and a small waste basket. This sink did come with hand soap and H2O body lotion. A very nice mirror for you to take a look at yourself while you're getting ready. To the right of the mirror, is an outlet that you can use to plug in razors, electric toothbrushes, or whatever. You have a lit makeup mirror that has a regular mirror and a concave mirror. Two very nice sconces on either side of the mirror. They are braided with this rope-like material here. To the left of the sink, you have a towel rack for your hand towel and your washcloth. And then we're gonna make our way over to the shower here. Now to the right of the shower, there is some built-in shelving you can use for whatever. We're currently using it for some makeup, some sunscreen and aloe, and some gold bond here. We have a very nice tall shower here, very spacious. On the outside, they do provide you with a shower mat. We can open this glass door here. There is no rainfall shower head in this bathroom, but you do get one regular shower head that you can adjust. There are three different settings on the shower. And then right here is where you have your control. On the back of the shower, you have wall mounted shampoo, conditioner, and body wash. And then in the corner, you have built in pedestals to store soap, shampoos, or whatever you'd like to bring with you to Bureau Beach. And to the left of the shower, you have your toilet and above the toilet you have some storage here this comes with a box of tissues extra washcloths extra hand towels and extra toilet paper and to the left of the toilet you have one towel rack that comes with one towel now this bathroom space is combined between the living room and the master bedroom so you have two doors here to seal off the toilet space this door that connects to the foyer comes with a full body length mirror that you can use to help get yourself ready in the morning. And we can walk into the bathtub space here. The bathtub space comes with a full sink and a cabinet underneath that contains your in-room hair dryer. This sink did also come with H2O bath salt and body lotion. We have already used the body lotion for this, so I don't have it here for you. Another outlet off to the left here. I have my razor and my toothbrush plugged into it currently. And then you have another lit makeup mirror with a regular mirror and concave mirror. Another nice mirror above the sink here. And you have some lights above it, again, with that rope-like accent to it. To the left, you have another wastebasket. And then you have your hand towels and another washcloth. And then we come to the standalone bathtub. This is a very nice, spacious bathtub. However, it is not an air jet tub. So there is no jacuzzi-like functionality with this. To the left of the bathtub, you have another towel rack with two full-size towels, a shelf in the corner with H2O bath soap. And then right here where the water spigot is, that's where they provide you with a second bath towel. Above the bathtub, there's some very nice artwork of a baby sea turtle heading out to sea for the first time. And then to the left of that, you have two more towel racks with two more towels. 
And if you wanted some privacy here from the toilet room, you can close this door to section off the bathroom from the toilet room. However, there is no door that leads into the master bedroom. If you wanted full privacy, you would have to close the door to the master bedroom. Now, as we make our way into the master bedroom here, you can see we have a king size bed, comes with five full pillows. Nice nightstands on either side of the master bed. These nightstands have built in 120 outlets in the back here, as well as two USB-A ports. And some very nice table side lamps that you can turn on and off using the switches below. You have two shelves and an open shelf on either side of the nightstand. And then if we look over to the right, there is another nice little photo of a baby sea turtle. On the headboard here above the bed, you do have some more sea turtle themed artwork like sea turtle tracks, baby sea turtles, and shells. We're gonna pan across the bed here to the TV space. We have a very nice size 55 inch TV in this room. It does not come with the updated software that you sometimes see over at Walt Disney World. So you have the traditional WDW Today style, your Disney Resort channel available to you. Four drawer dresser underneath the TV. These top two shelves here are open so you can have easy access to whatever you need here. On either side of this dresser, we do have two 120 outlets and two USB-A ports. To the left of this cabinet, you have an ottoman here with some pull-out drawer space underneath to help you get ready in the morning. And another full-size mirror for you to get ready in the morning. This bedroom does come with a chair over here on the left side of the bed. And this nightstand to the left comes with an in-room phone if you need to call the front desk or make a phone call. To the right of the TV cabinet here is your main closet. This closet comes with some extra pillows and blankets for you to use out in the main living room. An in-room safe off to the left, a luggage rack, and this one came with a pack and play ready to go. You do have plenty of hangers for your disposal here as well. The windows in the master bedroom have two separate curtain options. You have a nice little privacy curtain that you can use if you want to still let some natural light in. And you have blackout curtains here to completely black out the sun. Because Disney's Vero Beach Resort sits right on the beach here in Florida, it is a sea turtle nesting ground. They kindly request that you close the blackout curtains at night as to not confuse the sea turtles. The master bedroom does also come with a ceiling fan. The controls are right here next to the bathroom. So you can turn the ceiling fan on and off and adjust the speed. One thing I have found during our stay here is that this light switch here is connected to that nightstand. So just be aware if you're going to plug your phone into this nightstand at night, make sure that the light switch is turned on. Otherwise you'll wind up like me with a dead phone in the morning. We're going to make our way out of the master bedroom here towards the living space. There's this little hallway between here and the living room with a closet off to the left. This is where you're gonna find your in-room laundry. There's a stackable washer and dryer. They do provide you with laundry detergent, as well as a nice sized hamper, a vacuum cleaner, broom and a dustpan, and an iron and ironing board. Now across from this laundry closet here is some more artwork. We have some sea stars, conch shells, coral, and clams. We're gonna make our way out of the hallway back into the foyer here. There is another mirror here for you to use in the morning. And a nice hook array that we have been using all week to store our bags and my hat. That's also a nice place to leave your shoes. Now we're gonna head out to the living room here, but before we do that, off to the left, you're gonna see this door. This door actually leads to a studio next door. If you wanted to use this one bedroom as a two bedroom lock off unit, you could. These two rooms would connect to make this room a two bedroom. And now we finally make our way over to the living room and kitchen space. I'm gonna start off to the right here in the kitchen. You do have a nice large full size kitchen available to your disposal. 
You have a residential dishwasher, a toaster oven here on the counter, two bay sink with a garbage disposal on the right. No Keurig in this room. You have a Stay by Cuisinart 12 cup coffee maker. Now Disney does provide you with some coffee. I've used a little bit of it already, but you do get your regular Joffrey's coffee, a selection of Twining's teas, creamer, sugar, and sugar substitute, as well as some um, disposable cups and lids for you to use. Now, the one thing that's different in this room that I haven't seen in other DVC rooms is that they provide you with a sugar container and a creamer cup for you to use. And further off into the kitchen, you have a full-size microwave, an oven and stove setup, and a residential size fridge and freezer combo. You do also get an ice chest here for you to use if you want to use the hotel's ice machine, but your full-size fridge and freezer does come with a built-in ice maker. Continuing in the kitchen here, you do have a nice prep counter for you to use if you need additional counter space. I'm kind of using it for junk right now. Some more storage underneath if you need it, and they do have drawers for you to use if you want to bring some equipment of your own. The top cabinets here, starting from right to left, have your drink glasses, your coffee mugs, as well as some cups for the little kids. Above the sink here, you have a pitcher and some wine glasses. This cabinet here has full size and smaller plates as well as some bowls, extra shelving up top for you to use. And then you have a corner cabinet here that contains some baking dishes, some mixing bowls, some glass Tupperware containers, and a Pyrex measuring cup. Empty space above the microwave for you to use. And then to the left, you have some additional serving dishes. And then the cabinet above the fridge here is also empty. And the bottom cabinets here are going from left to right. This top drawer here has some cooking ware, measuring spoons, tongs, serving dishes, and can openers. We do have oven mitts to use. And then underneath here, you have a blender, cheese grater, and a strainer. Under the oven here, you have a shelf with a cutting board and a broiling pan. And then you do have some rags for you to use as well. Heading to the right towards the sink again, this top drawer here contains all your silverware, as well as some more cooking silverware, like spatulas, cutting knives, and paring knives. This cabinet has saucepans, pots, and a larger stock pot in the back. And then under the sink is where you're gonna find your dish drying rack, some dishwasher detergent, a sponge, some extra paper towels. And then as I make my way across over here, I did forget to mention where this prep counter is. You do also have two sets of 120 outlets and USB A's on either side. And now we get to the living room right here. We have an armchair that does pull out into a twin size bed. Nice table for you to use here. And then some artwork of different types of sea turtles. Here's a loggerhead and there's a green turtle. Floor lamp here that you can turn on and off with the switch inside. And a nice three person couch. This pulls out into a queen size bed. Coffee table with a Disney 100 Years of Wonder book available for you to read while you're staying here. And then behind this kitchen prep counter is where they stick the TV. Again, it's another full size 55 inch TV. And then underneath the TV here, you have a DVD player to use. To the left of the TV, you have a trash and recycling receptacle. And then over to the left, you have your kitchen table. It comes with four chairs for you to use. This room also had a high chair available over here. I don't plan on using that and I don't plan on using it anytime soon. Above the kitchen table, you have a very nice chandelier made from what looks to be sea glass and then some more beach themed artwork. Our room here has a nice view of cottage number 1450, as well as a view of the inn 
and the pool area here at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. These windows do also come with some privacy shades. These ones that slide out are the ones that provide light for you when you close them. But you have these blackout shades here that you can open and close like that if you want complete darkness. And then next to the couch here, you have an end table with a drawer, another in-room phone, and a table side lamp. Disney's Vero Beach Resort does provide you this little placard here that gives you some information about sea turtles and their nesting behavior. On the back here, it also asks you to help keep their beaches clean. The living room does also come with another ceiling fan for additional air circulation. There is a thermostat here that you can adjust to your liking. I have found that this thermostat is extremely sensitive and whenever you set it below 74 degrees, it blows out frosty cold air. So I usually keep these ceiling fans off unless we're going to bed and then I need that extra circulation. Just bear that in mind in this room in particular, the air conditioning is extremely cold and extremely sensitive. This one bedroom does come with a balcony space. This balcony in particular is a little bit on the smaller side I have found. They give you four chairs with this table, but there's absolutely no way you can fit all four chairs around this table out here. Now what I do like about these chairs is that they have a sea turtle built into them, which is very nice. It is a very nice and relaxing space to hang out but it is a little small for my taste. As you can see, the room next to us has a much larger balcony out there. Here's what the living space looks like with both of the pull-out beds pulled out. You do have a little bit of room here to get outside should the beds be pulled out, but this is one of the older Disney Vacation Club rooms, so there is plenty of space for you to spread out. So that concludes our tour of the one-bedroom villa here at Disney's Vero Beach Resort. For four nights at the end of August into September for Labor Day weekend, this room cost us 98 points. If you enjoyed this hotel room walkthrough, please be sure to like the video, leave a comment, and subscribe to Monorail Central for more hotel room walkthroughs, Disney food reviews, and Walt Disney World Monorail Project content. Thank you all very much, and we'll see you all real soon.